Some of you may know our bell schedule for this year is a little bit different. Let's find out what happened to it. And we decided that we didn't think we needed as much time for the passing period, and we wanted to take that minute and put it in classroom instruction. And by doing that, we can increase the instructional minutes for the year significantly. So it's something we're going to look at to try to improve time in the classroom rather than just passing period. And hopefully, if it goes well, we will continue with it. If it causes any issues, we'll reassess it at the, the middle or the end of the year for next year. Who was involved in the decision? All the teachers and myself. Uh, it's a committee that's been consistent for the last couple of years. Were students involved in making a decision? No, no, let me, let me grab that one. Not, not really on this one. Um, we're looking at instructional time, uh, and uh, given the instructional time, that's really m mostly impacting uh, the teacher's time in the classroom. Did you guys hear about the new changes in the bell schedule this year? We did. I heard it was seven minutes now. Seven minutes. I didn't know they changed the bell schedule. So how did you guys feel about it? I don't really like it. I don't really care. It's not going to make that big of a difference. Do you think you can make it in time in seven minutes to get to your classes? Does it doesn't take half an hour to get to across the school. We probably will be late. And do you think you're gonna make it in time to class in seven minutes? I am Lightning McQueen. So Barons, although school still starts and ends at the same time, make sure you pick up your pace during passing period so you will be there on time.